Good afternoon, boys and girls. How are you today? This is Miss. I'm Miss Tara from the Northwest Library, and Miss Kristen will be joining us shortly too. Now, if you've picked up a packet from the library, we're going to talk about Jack and the Beanstalk today. So, if you picked up a packet, you'll be able to uh, do the craft along with us. If you did not, we still you can still do this craft at home with some simple supplies, which Miss Kristen will show you how to do in a bit. But first, I'd like you to see my beanstalk behind me. I have my very own beanstalk, and you're going to get to build your very own beanstalk today, too. But first, we're going to start with our book, Jack and the Beanstalk. Does anybody know this story? And we've got a couple of different versions here. So I'm going to read a little bit of Jack and the Beanstalk, retold and illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. He's one of my favorite illustrators. Have you read about the boa constrictor that ate the wash? That's one of my favorites. But this is Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay. All right. There was once upon a time a poor widow who had only a son named Jack and a cow named Milky White. Moo. And all they had to live on was milk, the milk that the cow gave every morning, which they carried to market and sold. But one morning, Milky White gave no milk, and they did not know what to do. Cheer up, mother. I'll go and get, some, get work somewhere, said Jack. But we've tried that before, and nobody would take you, cried his mother. We must sell Milky White, and with that money, we'll start a shop or something. Oh. On his way to market, Jack met a funny-looking old man. Well, good morning, Jack, he said. Good morning to you, said Jack, and wondered how the man knew his name. Can you tell me how many beans make five, said the man. Can you tell me how many beans? Two in each hand and one in your mouth, said Jack, sharp as a needle. Right, said the man. And as you, as you are such a bright lad, I don't mind doing a swap with you. Your cow for these beans. Go away, said Jack. Ah, but these are magical beans, said the man. If you plant them tonight by morning, they go right up to the sky. Really, said Jack? Yes, and it, if it doesn't turn out to be true, you can have your cow back. Do you think his mother was really happy when he came home with five beans and no cow and no money? I bet she was really upset. And I want you guys to be able to finish the story and you can do that a couple of ways. You can call the library and ask us to get you one of our Jack and the Beanstalk copies and, we can, and you can come and pick it up. Or you can use our app Hoopla, so H-O-O-P, L A Hoopla, and you can borrow Jack and the Beanstalk um, with one of through the app, so that you can finish the story. I don't want to tell you what happens in the story. I want you to read it yourself. Okay, so lots of different copies. Let us know if you would like a copy of Jack and the Beanstalk. And now Miss Kristen is going to show you how to do a Jack and the Beanstalk craft. Come on, Kristen. You ready? Hi, everybody. This is our fairy tale challenge bag for Jack and the Beanstalk. See what we have in here. We have our instructions right here. And some songs. And we have our little seed house. And that's part of our craft. We're going to go ahead and cut our little seed house out. So you go along with a dotted line. You might need somebody to help you. Cut a little bit. We'll cut the inside out. Real quick. And then you'll cut around here and I would leave some room just so you have a little bit of room to decorate. So you'll cut it out and then you might want to deck 
decorate it here. I did this one over here with crayons and markers. You can add some stickers, some shiny things maybe. So that's what mine looks like when it's all done. So in your bag, you'll have a baggie here with cotton balls and some seeds, just like in the story. So we'll wet our cotton balls just a little bit. And we'll put them in our bag. And we'll try to put our beans right on top of those damp cotton balls. We can tape our baggie to our decorated house. And it'll look kind of like this when you're done. And then you put it in a sunny window. And that's how you do that. Mm -hmm.